right guys I got some extra time while I'm driving into work um let's talk about these medicine wise married to medicine you guys basically let me slow down first y'all that's why this camera is shaking because Miss Tiki is getting it she's doing like 65 70 75 80 85 90 married to medicine all right I'm just gonna go down and spill a little bit on each one. Let's start off with Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie, they're all in Hawaii, you guys. They went on the couple's trip and we're celebrating um, Dr. Simone's 20th anniversary. That's where they got married. And they wanna go do probably a rededication ceremony. Look like it's what, what is going to happen back where they first got married at. Slow down, girl, slow down, slow down. So anyway, we're going to start off, and I'm just going to list basically what's going on. Dr. Jackie, her husband, has decided not to join her on the couple's trip. And we all seen that they were fighting. And basically, their fight in life is she worked too much. Dr. Jackie breaks it down and let everybody know that basically she put all her time into working. And because it's something in life that she's missing. And uh, I am a, a mother. In my heart, if you're not a mother, you don't understand how it is to love a child or to have someone who loves you unconditionally. Now, adopted, I might say you may be there, but there's a love as a mother and a child, a bond. And, you know, if you don't have that bond, it's unexplainable, okay? So, you know, she wants that bond. She hasn't had that bond. So she's self-indulging herself into her career. And uh, being an OBGYN, being in that type of uh, profession and not being able to give life and you, you, you're delivering babies every day, it's just probably hard dealing with cancer and uh, not being able to reproduce. You, you feel like you're less than a woman, even in relationships when we go through life and someone has did you wrong or maybe cheated on you or something as a woman or as that other person you always ask what did I do wrong you always you know blame yourself in life to under to, to try to figure out why did they do what they did you know but Dr. Jackie and uh, her hubby they having issues and he decided not to join her in Hawaii but she has embraced what's going on she has embraced it and she's okay being there by herself. That just goes to show the strength in her, you know. Some people are just strong individuals. She's a very strong woman. Uh, Dr. Quad, Dr. Quad, Miss Quad, Miss Quad and her hubby, I noticed when they were doing the exercises, they didn't show them on things that they were going through in life because each couple was going through experiences or, you know, for instance, Dr. Simona give them a scenario like finances with Toya and her husband and they wanted them to, to speak on, you know, finances. And Toya, she is a, big, a very big person. She decided to say, hey, I've learned a lot in life. When we first started, we said we were going to let them have, uh, we were going to have two separate accounts, but my mother said no. You know, my husband wanted to bring our money together and we wanted to have one joint account. And I've learned since we've been going through what we've been going through in life, how to grow together. So my experience might have been a bad experience in life, but it has taught me growth in my marriage. Now, me, myself, personally, my opinion with Toya and Eugene, I see them heading for divorce if they don't get their finances together. Toya has the... Um, mentality of a rich rich woman and she thought maybe when she married this doctor you know she would never have to work she was gonna live in this big old mansion with this white picket fence damn this road raggedy have two kids and live happily ever after but it's not panning out to be what she wanted to be okay so I feel like if their finances don't become better their relationship is gonna end up being tragic my personal opinion you know I've dealt with relationships where you know one had more or one was always financially in um, the red 
And you know what? That's a, that's that's hard on a relationship. And when I moved on in life and left that person behind, and my finances, well, damn. Okay. Oh my God, what is wrong with you, dude? And my fan finances change. And I'm like, wow, I didn't realize how bad off that person was pulling me down until I went on to after it happened in life. But, you know, sometimes in life you have to you live and you learn. That's one thing about marriages. I don't care how much you somebody friend. If somebody call you and ask you for advice, do not, do not get involved in someone's relationship. Even boyfriend, girlfriend situationships. Because... If things do not work out, honey, you're going to be the first one they blame for whatever they're going through. Uh, Mariah and Aiden, they look like they're doing fine. Aiden looked like he was having an excellent time in Hawaii. Girl, he was pop locking, dropping it. <laughs> he was just letting it loose. And Mariah was like a little shame, like, oh, my God, my husband. He loves to dance. Aiden looked like he likes to have fun. And it like back in the day, Mariah was that type of girl. And they had fun in life. And I always would be sitting up trying to figure out what do they have in common? Because Miss Keisha is ghetto gangster kind of seemed like sometimes Mariah. And uh, it, it looked like what do they have in common? But they balance each other out. You can't have two people in a relationship that's the same. You, you, you have a nerd and you have someone that's outgoing and likes to live on the edge. I notice a lot of men in life, I've always attracted the nerdy type because I always was the one that liked to get on top of the tables, pop, lock, and drop it and have fun. So opposites attract, that's very true. And I can see that with Mariah and Aiden. And he loved him some Mariah. And I love that in them too. They stick together. He said, if you don't want my wife, then y'all don't want me. I like that. Let me hurry up because I'm almost at this place of employment. Um, Dr. Simone and her husband, I, I thought that they looked like they were having problems in the beginning. But, hey, I was wrong. They are happily married, you know. She works a lot. They did have to spend some of that money for Uncle Sam. That's why they have the two homes. She left the boys and her husband in one home so they could be close to their school. And she could be close to work. And if it works for you guys, 20 years of marriage, congratulations. Um, <laughs> I have to say this about um, quad husband. Dr. Eugene was dancing and having fun, too. He looked like he liked to have fun also. And uh, quad, I just want her to get on the same page as her hubby. Quad... She don't look like she wants to have a baby and settle down. Quan wants to be to remain fabulous and keep that shape, honey. But girl, after you had a baby, you like the rest of them. Have a tummy tuck, some fat removed. Have that baby for that man. Make that marriage complete. I mean, make your husband happy. If you don't satisfy him, it's not gonna last, you know. And keep it moving. Lisa Nicole, let me speak on her in this and keep it moving, okay? Darren still has not made it to Hawaii. And uh, I'm wondering, is Darren going to make it to Hawaii? That's the question. There's more excuses than assholes at this point. The girls have apologized to you, apologized to her and say, you know, you always quick to talk about somebody else's husband, when, but when people come back at you, you, you can't receive it. And I do see that. You know, I just hate for them to call that man gay. And that's why he has not been taping with them. He do not want to be ridiculed and put down on nationwide TV. That man is a doctor, you know. But uh, I just want them to work on their marriage. Maybe Lisa Nicole needs to come off for of Married to Medicine. I know it's income, but sometimes all money ain't good money. And if it's saving your relationship in life, you have to do what you have to do before you be another couple, a reality TV couple that's moved, you know, that said, peace be unto you guys. Um, let me see who else is left. We had Dr. Jackie. Mariah, uh, Janine, I don't know what she there for. Y'all, Ike, why she there? Why is she there? Dr. Heavily, I noticed her husband really didn't want to be there. The fact that Lisa Nicole said that she was an alcoholic on Nationwide TV is really bothering her. She want Lisa Nicole to recant that story. Lisa Nicole is basically saying, uh-uh, bitch, 
you might not be an alcoholic, but you always got some crown in that cup. And I'm not taking that story back. And um, <laughs> uh, Dr. Heavenly, she is the Phaedra of the show. Everybody has said that. And basically, she is saying, you know, <laughs> I feel sorry for Dr. Jackie. She crying in her confession and what's going on. She said, but let me quit crying because that bitch, Lisa Nicole, that bitch make me not want to ever cry again. I want to go over there and snatch that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, Married to Medicine has been really good. I haven't did my last two uh, reviews because, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, I had a little extra time today. Let's get some videos out. All right, guys, you guys have a lucky day. I done made it. I made it to this strip. And I'm just going to send this as a direct upload. All right, guys, y'all have a lucky day.